Saint Barthélemy French pronunciation S Barthélemy officially the territorial collectivity of Saint Barthélemy French collectivité territoriale de Saint Barthélemy called Wanalau by the indigenous people is an overseas collectivity of France in the West Indies often abbreviated to Saint Barth in French and Saint Barths or Saint Barts in English The island lies about 35 kilometers 22 miles southeast of Saint Martin and north of Saint Kitts Puerto Rico is 240 kilometers 150 miles to the west in the Greater Antilles. Saint Barthélemy was for many years a French commune forming part of Guadeloupe, which is an overseas region and department of France. In 2003, the island voted in favor of secession from Guadeloupe in order to form a separate overseas collectivity, COM, of France. The collectivity is one of four territories among the Leeward Islands in the northeastern Caribbean that comprise the French West Indies, along with Saint Martin, Guadeloupe, 200 kilometers (120 miles) southeast, and Martinique. Saint Barthélemy, a volcanic island fully encircled by shallow reefs, has an area of 25 square kilometers (9.7 square miles) and a population of 9,625 (January 2015 estimate). Its capital is Gustavia, which also contains the main harbour to the island. It is the only Caribbean island which was a Swedish colony for any significant length of time. Guadeloupe was under Swedish rule only briefly at the end of the Napoleonic Wars. Symbolism from the Swedish national arms, the Three Crowns, still appears in the island's coat of arms. The language, cuisine, and culture, however, are distinctly French. The island is a popular tourist destination during the winter holiday season, especially for the rich and famous during the Christmas and New Year period. History Discovery before European contact the island was possibly frequented by Eastern Caribbean Taino people. Christopher Columbus was the first European to encounter the island in 1493. He named it after his brother Bartolomeo. Sporadic visits continued for the next hundred years until formal colonization began taking shape. 17th century by 1648, the island was settled from St. Christopher, but the settlement was attacked and destroyed by Caribs six years later. These first French settlers had been encouraged by Philippe de Longvilliers de Poincy, the lieutenant governor of the French West India Company and comprised about 50 to 60 settlers. Led by Jacques Gentis, the new arrivals began cultivating cacao, until the Carib attack forced them to retreat. De Poincy was the dominant administrator in this period and a member of the Order of St. John. He facilitated the transfer of ownership from the Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique to the Order. He continued to rule the island until his death in 1660. Five years later, it was bought by the French West India Company along with the Order's other possessions in the Caribbean. By 1674, the company was dissolved and the islands became part of the French Kingdom. 18th century. There was a very brief takeover by the British in 1758. The island was given to Sweden in 1784 in exchange for trade rights in Gothenburg. It was only after 1784, when King Louis XVI traded the island to Sweden, that the island's fortunes changed for the better. This change of control saw progress and prosperity as the Swedes declared Gustavia a free port, convenient for trading by the Europeans for goods, including contraband material. 19th century Topic. Slavery was practiced in St. Barthélemy under the "...ordinance concerning the police of slaves and free colored people," of 1787. The last legally owned slaves in the Swedish colony of St. Barthélemy were granted their freedom by the state on 9 October 1847. Since the island was not a plantation area, the freed slaves suffered economic hardships due to lack of opportunities for employment. In 1852, a devastating hurricane hit the island and this was followed by a fire. Following a referendum in 1877, Sweden gave the island back to France in 1878, after which it was administered as part of Guadeloupe. 
Topic: 20th century. Topic: on 19 March 1946, the people of the island became French citizens with full rights. Many men from St. Barthélemy took jobs on St. Thomas to support their families. The island received electricity circa 1961. Organized tourism and hotels began in earnest the 1960s and developed in the 1970s onwards particularly after the building of the island's landing strip which can accommodate mid-sized aircraft, capitalizing on its low population density, tropical peaks and sandy coastline with many coves. The coves and beachside hotels attract catered and self-catered yachts and honeymooners. The capital has many businesses and attracts cruise liners. 21st century Saint Barthélemy was for many years a French commune forming part of Guadeloupe, which is an overseas region and department of France. Through a referendum in 2003, island residents sought separation from the administrative jurisdiction of Guadeloupe, and it was finally accomplished in 2007. The island of Saint Barthélemy became an overseas collectivity a governing territorial council was elected for its administration, which has provided the island with a certain degree of autonomy. The Hôtel de Ville, which was the town hall, is now the Hôtel de la Collectivité. A senator represents the island in Paris. Saint Barthélemy has retained its free port status. Saint Barthélemy ceased being an outermost region and left the EU, to become an October, on 1 January 2012. Effects of Hurricane Irma Topic. The island sustained damage from Hurricane Irma in September 2017 but by March 2018, the airport was handling daily flights and the ferry between St. Martin and St. Bart's was operating. Electricity and water had been restored, internet service and cell phone service were widely available. Some hotels were not yet open but most were expected to be operating by the fall of the year. The cruise ship port in Gustavia was operational. Geography Located approximately 250 kilometres east of Puerto Rico and the nearer Virgin Islands, St. Barthélemy lies immediately southeast of the islands of St. Martin and Anguilla. It is one of the Renaissance islands. St. Barthélemy is separated from St. Martin by the St. Barthélemy Channel. It lies northeast of Saba and St. Eustatius, and north of St. Kitts. Some small satellite islets belong to St. Barthélemy including Île Chevreau, Île Bonhomme, Île Frégate, Île Toc Vers, Île Tortu and Gros Islets A much bigger islet, Île Fortu, lies on the north of the island, in the St. Barthélemy Channel. Other rocky islets which include Coco, the Roques or Little Turtle Rocks, the Goat, and the Sugarloaf. <inaudible> Marine areas St. Barthélemy forms, with St. Martin, Anguilla, and Dog Island, a distinct group that lies upon the western edge of a flat bank of soundings composed chiefly of shells, sand, and coral. From St. Barthélemy, the bank extends east-southeast, ending in a small tongue or spit. It is separated from the main bank by a narrow length of deep water. East of the island, the edge of the bank lies 22 kilometers 14 miles away. Grande Saline Bay provides temporary anchorage for small vessels while Columbier Bay, to the northwest, has a four fathoms patch near mid-entrance. In the Bight of St. Jean Bay there is a narrow cut through the reef. The north and east sides of the island are fringed, to a short distance from the shore, by a visible coral reef. Reefs are mostly in shallow waters and are clearly visible. The coastal areas abound with beaches and many of these have offshore reefs, some of which are part of a marine reserve. The Marine Reserve, founded in 1999, covers more than 1,000 hectares 2, acres of protected and vulnerable habitats, bays and islands, and includes a zone that is restricted to scientific observations only. As the sea surrounding the St. Barthélemy is rich in coral reefs and other precious marine life, the area has been declared a protected area since 1996. Environmental awareness is quite pronounced in St. Barthélemy and is promoted by the Environmental Commission. There are as many as 22 public beaches most beaches on St. Barthélemy are known as Anstda. 
of which 15 are considered suitable for swimming. They are categorized and divided into two groups, the leeward side calm waters protected by the island itself and windward side some of which are protected by hills and reefs. The windward beaches are popular for windsurfing. The beach of St. Jean is suitable for water sports and facilities have been created for that purpose. The long beach at Lorient has shade and is a quiet beach as compared to St. Jean. Grand Col de Sac is a long beach with facilities for water sports. Anse de Flamands is a very wide sandy beach and Le Petit Anse the little beach, just to the north of Anse de Flamands is very safe and popular with the locals for their children. Anse Twani Beach is in a remote location and is considered suitable for experienced surfers as the water current is very strong. On the leeward side, the notable beaches are Anse du Governor, Anse du Colombier, which is only accessible by foot or by boat, Anse de Grande Galette, Shell Beach, and Anse de Grande Saline, which is popular with nudists. The area around the salt ponds near the Anse de Grande Saline Beach is marshy and is a habitat for tropical birds. Eel Islet, an offshoot of the leeward side, has a white sandy beach, Shell Beach, also called Anse de Grande Galette in French. Anse means cove, and Galette means pebble, is a beach in the southwestern part of Gustavia. A large number of seashells are scattered on this beach. This beach was subject to the strong waves of Hurricane Lenny in 1999, which resulted in erosion of the sand. This necessitated supplementing the beach with new sand in 2000. On the north coast, on the far eastern side of the island, there are two lagoons called the Anse de Marigot and Anse du Grand Col de Sac. <laughs> Topic. Interior areas Topic. Morne du Vitet, 286 metres 938 feet in height, is the highest peak on the island. There are few sheep pens built with stone walls on the slopes of the mountain. A hill road leads to the Grand Col de Sac from where scenic views of the entire coastline can be witnessed. Hills and valleys of varying topography cover the rest of the island. Two other hills near the island's east end are of nearly the same elevation at 250 and 262 meters (820 and 860 feet) above sea level. Topic: Populated areas. Topic. The population is spread among 40 courtiers, roughly corresponding to settlements. They are grouped into two parasses parishes. Topic. Climate Topic. The island covers an area of 25 square kilometers 2,500 hectares. The eastern side is wetter than the western. Although the climate is essentially arid, the rainfall does average 1,000 mm annually, but with considerable variation over the terrain. Summer is from May to November, which is also the rainy season. Winter from December to April is the dry season. Sunshine is very prominent for nearly the entire year and even during the rainy season. Humidity, however, is not very high due to the winds. The average temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit with day temperatures rising to 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The average high and low temperatures in January are 28 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit and 22 degrees Celsius 72 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, while in July they are 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit and 24 degrees Celsius 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest night temperature recorded is 13 degrees Celsius 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The Caribbean sea waters in the vicinity generally maintain a temperature of about 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Demographics <inaudible> 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 According to 2015 population estimates, St. Barthélemy had 9,625 inhabitants. Residents of St. Barthélemy Saint people are French citizens and work at establishments on the island. Most of them are descendants of the first settlers, of Breton, Norman, Poitevin, saint Anguise and Angevin lineage. French is the native tongue of the population. English is understood in hotels and restaurants, and a small population of Anglophones have been resident in Gustavia for many years. 
The Saint Barthélemy French Patois is spoken by some 500 to 700 people in the leeward portion of the island and is superficially related to Quebec French, whereas Creole French is limited to the windward side. Unlike other populations in the Caribbean, language preference between the Creole and Patois is geographically, and not racially, determined. Politics and government Topic. Until 2007, administratively, the whole island of Saint Barthélemy was a French commune, commune de Saint Barthélemy, part of Guadeloupe, which is an overseas région and overseas département of France, but as one of the overseas countries and territories, not a part of the European Union. The inhabitants vote as European citizens, but the local law derogate from community law. In 2003, the population voted through referendum in favor of secession from Guadeloupe in order to form a separate overseas collectivity com of France. On the 7th of February 2007, the French Parliament passed a bill granting com status to both Saint Barthélemy and separately to the neighboring Saint Martin. The new status took effect on the 15th of July 2007, when the first territorial council was elected, according to the law. The island has a president elected every five years, a unicameral territorial council of 19 members who are elected by popular vote and serve for five-year terms, and an executive council of seven members. Elections to these councils were first held on 1 July 2007 with the most recent election in March 2012. One senator represents the island in the French Senate. The first election was held on 21 September 2008 with the last election in September 2014. Saint Barthélemy became an overseas territory of the European Union on 1 January 2012, but the island's inhabitants remain French citizens with EU status holding EU passports. France is responsible for the defence of the island and as such has stationed a security force on the island comprising six policemen and thirteen gendarmes posted on two-year term. The French state is represented by a prefect appointed by the President on the advice of the Minister of the Interior. As a collectivity of France, the island's national anthem is La Marseillaise. Heraldry. The coat of arms of Saint Barthélemy is a shield divided into three horizontal stripes, three gold fleur-de-lis on blue, above a white Maltese cross on red, over three gold crowns on blue, and reads, Wanalau. On a white background, it serves as the unofficial flag of Saint Barthélemy. <laughs> Legal profession Although the Bar of Guadeloupe, Saint Martin and Saint Barthélemy Bureau de la Guadeloupe, Saint Martin et Saint Barthélemy exists, there is no clear indication as to how demographic groups, such as women, have fared in the legal field. Economy <inaudible> 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 Agricultural production on the island is difficult given the dry and rocky terrain, but the early settlers managed to produce vegetables, cotton, pineapples, salt, bananas and also fishing. Sweet potato is also grown in patches. The islanders developed commerce through the port of Gustavia. Duty-free port attractions, retail trade, high-end tourism mostly from North America and its luxury hotels and villas have increased the island's prosperity, reflected in the high standard of living of its citizens. The official currency of St. Barthélemy is the euro. INSEE estimated that the total GDP of St. Barthélemy amounted to €179 million Euros in 1999 $191 million at 1999 exchange rate, $255 million at October 2007 exchange rate. In that same year the GDP per capita of St. Barthélemy was €26,000 at 1999 exchanges rates, $37,000 at October 2007 exchange rates, which was 10% higher than the average GDP per capita of metropolitan France in 1999. Handicrafts <inaudible> 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 Corossal is noted for its handicrafts, weaving hats and bags from palm fronds as a low-income economic activity of the indigenous people. Tourism 
international investment and the wealth generated by tourists explain the high standard of living on the island. Most of the food is imported from the U.S. or France. Tourism attracts about 200,000 visitors every year. As a result, there is a boom in house building activity catering to the tourists and also to the permanent residents of the island, Street. Barthelemy has about 25 hotels, most of them with 15 rooms or fewer. The largest has 58 rooms. Hotels are classified in the traditional French manner, 3-star, 4-star and 4-star luxe. Of particular note are Eden Rock and Cheval Blanc. Hotel Le Tuani, the most expensive hotel on the island, has 12 rooms. Most places of accommodation are in the form of private villas, of which there are some 400 available to rent on the island. The island's tourism industry, though expensive, attracts 70,000 visitors every year to its hotels and villas and another 130,000 people arrive by boat. It also attracts a labor force from Brazil and Portugal. The height of tourism is New Year. S. Eve, with celebrities and the wealthy converging on the island in yachts up to 550 feet 170 meters in length for the occasion. <inaudible> wildlife Flora <inaudible> 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 As the terrain is generally arid, the hills have mostly poor soil and support only cacti and succulent plants. During the rainy season the area turns green with vegetation and grass. The eastern part of the island is greener as it receives more rainfall. A 1994 survey has revealed several hundred indigenous species of plants including the naturalized varieties of flora, some growing in irrigated areas while the dry areas are dominated by the cacti variety. Sea grapes and palm trees are a common sight with mangroves and shrubs surviving in the saline coastal swamps. Coconut palm was brought to the island from the Pacific Islands. Important plants noted on the island are, there are flamboyant trees, frangipanis, sable palms, wild trumpet and manchineal trees on the island. Other trees of note include the royal palm, sea grape trees in the form of shrubs on the beaches and as 5 to 7 meters 16 to 23 feet trees in the interior areas of the island, aloe or aloe vera brought from the Mediterranean, the night-blooming cereus, mammillaria nivosa, yellow prickly pear or barberry fig which was planted as barbed wire defenses against invading British army in 1773, Mexican cactus, stapelia gigantea, golden trumpet or yellow bell which was originally from South America. Bougainvillea and others. Topic Fauna. Topic Marine mammals are many, such as the dolphins, porpoises, and whales, which are seen here during the migration period from December till May. Turtles are a common sight along the coastline of the island. They are a protected species and in the endangered list. It is stated that it will take 15 to 50 years for this species to attain reproductive age. Though they live in the sea, the females come to the shore to lay eggs and are protected by private societies. Three species of turtles are particularly notable. These are, the leatherback sea turtles which have leather skin instead of a shell and are the largest of the type found here, sometimes measuring a much as 3 meters feet average is about 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet and weighing about 450 jellyfish is their favorite diet, the hawksbill turtles, which have hawk-like beaks and found near reefs, generally about 90 centimeters 35 inches in diameter and weigh about 60 and their diet consists of crabs and snails, and the green turtles, herbivores which have rounded heads Heads, generally about 90 cm in diameter and live amidst tall sea grasses. Avifauna Avifauna in the wild, both native and migrating include brown pelican along the shoreline, magnificent frigatebirds with long wingspans of up to 1.8 meters 5 feet 11 inches, green herons, snowy egrets, belted kingfishers, bananaquits, broad-winged hawks, two species of hummingbirds, the green-throated carib and antillean crested hummingbird, and zenata doves. Aquafauna <inaudible> <inaudible> The marine life found here consists of anemones, urchins, sea cucumbers, and eels, which all live on the reefs along with turtles, conch and many varieties of marine fishes. 
The marine aquafauna is rich in conch, which has pearly pink shells. Its meat is a favorite food supplement item and their shells are a collector's item. Other species of fish which are recorded close to the shoreline in shallow waters are, sergeant majors, the blue chromis, brown chromis, surgeon fish, blue tangs and trumpet fish. On the shore are ghost crabs, which always live on the beach in small burrowed tunnels made in sand, and the hermit crabs, which live in land but lay eggs in water and which also eat garbage and sewerage. They spend some months in the sea during and after the hatching season. Topic. Marine Reserve Topic. Saint Barthélemy has a marine nature reserve, known as the Reserve Naturelle that covers 1.200 hectares, and is divided into five zones all around the island to form a network of protected areas. The reserve includes the bays of Grand Col de Sac, Colombier, Marigot, Petite Col de Sac, Petite Anse, as well as waters around offshore rocks such as Les Gros Islets, Pan de Sucre, Tortue, and Fortu. The reserve is designed to protect the island's coral reefs, seagrass, and endangered marine species, including sea turtles. The reserve has two levels of protection the yellow zones of protection, where certain non extractive activities, like snorkeling and boating, are allowed, and the red zones of high protection, where most activities, including scuba, are restricted in order to protect or recover marine life. Anchoring is prohibited in the reserve, and mooring buoys are in place in some of the protected bays, like Columbier. Topic. Landmarks and architecture Topic. Apart from Gustavia, the capital of St. Barthélemy, there are many notable places and monuments in the island which testify to the colonial regime of the Spanish, Swedes, the British and the French, and now a French territory. Topic. Gustavia Topic. Gustavia is in a U-shaped cove facing the harbour on the west. The waterside arm of this cove is in a peninsula while the dockyard is on the east side. When the British invaded the harbour town in 1744, the town's architectural buildings were destroyed. Subsequently, new structures were built in the town around the harbour area and the Swedes had also further added to the architectural beauty of the town in 1785 with more buildings, when they had occupied the town. Earlier to their occupation, the port was known as Carinage. The Swedes renamed it as Gustavia in honor of their king Gustav III. It was then their prime trading center. The port maintained a neutral stance since the Caribbean War was on in the 18th century. They used it as trading post of contraband and the city of Gustavia prospered but this prosperity was short-lived. These buildings also underwent further destruction during the hurricanes and also by gutting in 1852. However, some monuments are still intact such as the residence of the then Swedish governor, now the town hall. The oldest colonial structure in the town is stated to be the bell tower now without a bell built in 1799, as part of a church destroyed in the past, in the southeast end of the town on Rue du Presbytere. Now, a large clock is installed in place of the bell, the road that runs parallel to the harbour face of the sea called the Rue de la République and two other roads connect to the two arms of the U-shaped bay. The city has a network of roads, inherited from the Swedish period, that are laid in a grid pattern, which are either parallel or perpendicular to the three main roads that encompass the bay. Eglise Anglicane de Gustavia Eglise Anglicane de Gustavia, the St. Bartholomew Anglican Church, is an important religious building in the town built in 1855 with stones brought from St. Eustatius. It is on one of the most elegant roads of the town called the Rue du Centenaire. It has a bell tower. A rock wall encircles the church. Topic. Ancient Presbytere de l'Église Catholique de Gustavia Topic. Ancient Presbytere de l'Église Catholique de Gustavia is the Catholic church built in 1822 as a replacement of the oldest church of the same name in Lorient. This church also has a bell tower which is separated from the main church and which rings loud and clear. <laughs> Musée Territorial de Street Barthélemy Musée Territorial de Street Barthélemy is a historical museum known as the St. Bart's Municipal Museum, also called the 
Wall House Musée Bibliothèque in Gustavia, which is located on the far end of La Pointe. The museum is housed in an old stone house, a two-story building which has been refurbished. The island's history relating to French, Swedish and British period of occupation is well presented in the museum with photographs, maps and paintings. Also on display are the ancestral costumes, antique tools, models of Creole houses and ancient fishing boats. It also houses a library. Topic. Gustavia Lighthouse Topic. The 9 meters 30 feet white tower of the Gustavia Lighthouse was built in 1961. Situated on the crest of a hill north of the town, its focal plane is 64 meters 210 feet above the level of the sea. It flashes every 12 seconds, white, green or red depending on direction. The round conical tower has a single red band at the top. Topic. Forts Topic. Among the notable structures in the town are the three forts built by the Swedes for defense purposes. One of these forts, known as Fort Oscar formerly Gustav Adolf, which overlooks the sea is located on the far side of La Pointe. However, the ruins have been replaced by a modern military building which now houses the local gendarmerie. The other fort known as Fort Karl now presents a very few ruins. The third fort built by the Swedes is the Fort Gustav, which is also seen in ruins strewn around the weather station and the lighthouse. The fort built in 1787 over a hill slope has ruins of ramparts, guardhouse, munitions depot, wood-burning oven and so forth. Sivaku <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. A statue, Savaku, representing the Arawak Indians is present at St. Jean. Topic. Education Topic. The island's public preschools and primary schools, under the authority of the Académie de la Guadeloupe, are École Primaire Gustavia, École Maternelle Gustavia Private Primary Schools. École Primaire Privé Saint Joseph École Primaire Privé Saint Marie Topic. Culture Topic. Topic. Festivals and holidays Topic. Some of the festivals held each year in Saint Barthélemy are the St. Bart's Music Festival held every January, usually during the second and third weeks. A French carnival in February, March held for two weeks before Ash Wednesday and concluding with Ash Wednesday. On Ash Wednesday a black and white parade held at Shell Beach is the occasion to a notional burning of the image of Vavil, the carnival king. St. Barth Film Festival, held annually at the end of April, was established in 1996, and hosts Caribbean films for five days. Armistice Day on May 8 Abolition of Slavery Day on May 27 and October 9 Bastille Day on July 14 Victor Schulcher Day on July 21 Honoring Schulcher, a French parliamentarian for his noble humanitarian act of abolishing slavery in French territory on April 27, 1848 Assumption Day on August 15 Fête de Saint Barthélemy Feast Day of Saint Barthélemy on August 24, in honor of the patron saint of the island. Church bells are rung, boats are blessed and a regatta is held, followed by fireworks and a public ball. Festival of Gustavia held in August, an occasion of dragnet fishing and partying. All Saints Day on November 1 Remembrance Day, Armistice Day. Christmas Day on December 25, and New Year's Eve on December 31. Some other festivals held are the Festival Gastronomique April and Yacht Festival May. The national holidays observed are the Bastille Day and Saint Barthélemy Day Day of Adoption of French Constitution. Feast of Saint Louis is held on November 1 when thousands of candles are lit in the evening hours, which is a public holiday. All Souls Day is observed on November 2, and it is public holiday. Topic. Music Topic. The Caribbean, the birthplace of the Calypso, Maring, Soca, Zouk and Reggae music influence the culture tremendously. 
The St. Barthélemy Music Festival is a major international performing arts event held every year. Cuisine French cuisine, West Indian cuisine, Creole cuisine, Italian cuisine and Asian cuisine are common in St. Barthélemy. The island has over 70 restaurants serving many dishes and others are a significant number of gourmet restaurants, many of the finest restaurants are located in the hotels. There are also a number of snack restaurants which the French call, Les Snacks, or Les Petites Crew, which include sandwiches, pizzas and salads. West Indian cuisine, steamed vegetables with fresh fish is common, Creole dishes tend to be spicier. The island hosts gastronomic events throughout the year, with dishes such as spring roll of shrimp and bacon, fresh grilled lobster, Chinese noodle salad with coconut milk, and grilled beef filet etc. In the early 1990s, the island had two cooking schools, the St. Bart's Cooking School which emphasizes classical French cuisine, and Cooking in Paradise which emphasizes Creole cuisine. Topic. Fashion. Topic. The traditional costume which is seen only among older women consists of starched white bonnets called kitchenots. Topic. Legend Topic. A popular legend related to St. Barthélemy is of a seafarer hooligan looking to loot Spanish ships. French pirate Daniel Montbars, who was given the epithet, Montbars the Exterminator took shelter in St. Barthélemy during his pirate operations and hid the loot in the sandy coves at Anse du Governor. Sports Rugby is a popular sport in the island. One of the major teams on the island is Les Barracudas, named after the ferocious fish of the Caribbean. They often play teams from Anguilla and other surrounding islands. Gustavia is also known as a haven for yachting, with many events being held there each year. These include the St. Barth's Bucket Regatta, the St. Barth's Cup and Les Voiles de St. Barth in April, and the International Regatta in May. Deep sea fishing is also undertaken from the waterfront of Lorient, Flamands and Corossal to fish for tuna, marlin, bonito, barracuda and wahoo. St. Barth Open Fishing Tournament is held in July. The Transat AG2R race, held every alternate year, is an event which originates in Concarneau in Brittany, France, reaching St. Barthélemy. It is a boat race with boats of 10 meter (33 foot) length with a single hull and with essential safety equipment. Each boat is navigated by two sailors. Kitesurfing and other water sports have also become popular on the island in recent years, especially at Grand Col de Sac Beach Bay de Grand Col de Sac for windy sports as kitesurfing and Saint Jean Beach Bay de Saint Jean, Lorient, Tuani and Anse de Kai for surfing. Tennis is also popular on the island and it has several tennis clubs, Tennis Club de Flamboyant in Grand Col de Sac, AJOE Tennis Club in Orient and ASCO in Colombier. The Swedish Marathon Race, also called the Gustavulapet, is held in December. Races of 2 km miles and 12 km miles are conducted when children, women and men participate in the races. Transport. St. Barthélemy has a small airport known as Gustav III Airport on the north coast of the island that is served by small regional commercial aircraft and charters. The nearest airport with a runway length sufficient to land a typical commercial jet airliner is on the neighboring island of St. Martin, Princess Juliana International Airport, which acts as a hub, providing connecting flights with regional carriers to St. Barthélemy. Several international airlines and domestic Caribbean airlines operate in this sector. Many inter inland ferry services operate regularly between St. Martin and St. Barts. The narrow and congested roads, and difficulty in parking, have been an impetus for driving smart cars. Topic media topic A weekly journal entitled Journal de St. Barth is published in the French language. Its English language abridged version is published as St. Barth Weekly only during the winter months for Anglophone tourists. Reflecting the island's popularity with the rich and famous, the high fashion magazine L'Officiel publishes a seasonal local edition. Other tourist-related information is available at the airport and in the offices of the tourist authority, there is no local TV broadcasting station. 
However, the island has three FM radio channels, out of which two operate via repeaters. The island has a fully integrated access telephone system and with capability for direct dial on fixed and wireless systems. Topic health facilities Topic The island has a small hospital, the Hôpital de Brine, in Gustavia with an adjacent diagnostic laboratory. There is also at least one private diagnostic facility. Specialists in cardiology, general medicine, dentists, ENT, OB, GYN, pediatrics and rheumatology are also available. There are many pharmacies dispensing medicines. For more sophisticated facilities, patients go to Guadeloupe, San Juan, Atlanta or France. Topic Notable people Topic Eugenie Blanchard was the world's oldest living person 114 years, 261 days at the time of her death on 4 November 2010. She was born on St. Barthélemy and spent most of her life on Curaçao and St. Barthélemy as a Catholic nun. Topic see also topic Outline of St. Barthélemy Index of St. Barthélemy Related articles topic Notes topic topic External links topic Memoir Street Barth Government in French Collectivity of St. Barthélemy Official Government Website Comité Territorial du Tourisme Tourism Board Website in French Historical and Botanical Information Memoir St. Barth, St. Barthélemy's History Slave Trade, Slavery, Abolitions in French Histoire et Aménagement Linguistique St. Barthélemy St. Barth Anna and Flora General Information Saint Barthélemy The World Factbook Central Intelligence Agency Saint Barthélemy Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Discover the island of Saint Barthélemy in a full 3D tour A comprehensive visitors guide